Now let us discuss the question answer given below. <clears throat> question number one. What is the kind of pain and ache that the poet feels? Answer. The poet is pained to see her mother's dull and colorless face. She is hurt to see that her mother's face looks like that of dead body. She is afraid of the fact that she may not see her mother's alive next time. Question number two. Why are the young trees described as printings? Answer. The car was moving when the poet looked outside at the trees. They appeared to be sprinting because the car was speeding past them in the opposite direction. The young trees represented life in contrast to her mother's approaching death. Question number three. Why has the poet brought in the image of Mary children spilling out of their homes? Answer. The poet has used this imagery to bring out the contrast between children who are energetic and full of life and a mother who is old, pale and lifeless. Question number four. Why has the mother been compared to the late winter's moon? Answer. Just as, late win just as a late winter's moon looks hazy and appears to lack brightness and luster due to mist and fog, similarly, the poet's mother, who is now old, looks pale and devoid of exuberance. Her face, her face looks dull and colorless due to old age. Question number five. What do the parting words of the poet and her smile signify? Answer. The poet's parting words, see you soon, Amma, signify hope and assurance not only to herself but to her mother also. That they will meet again. Now let me tell you the role number of few students from 12 Commerce and 12 Science who are going to explain this poem in the class. From 12 Science, role number 2. 4, 8, 13, 15, 20, 23, 26, 32, 33, 39, and 14. From 12 commas, you have to keep in mind the row number of 11 standard. Row number 1, 6, 7, 8, 10, 15, 11, 20, 31, and 20. Remaining students will not be deprived from this bliss and boon. Your roll number will be registered and declared soon. Thank you.